dog number one. Uh, I'm gonna see her. Oh, oh my chair. Chair is not like it's very windy today. On day two of the trip, and I'm making this vlog basically to help all the people who are going on this trip next time um, in a year. And so this is basically me telling what happened um, on day one yesterday and part of day two, which was today. So day one started um, getting put at the, um, the airport in Houston and then got uh, bussed over to O'Hare in Chicago and it's very, that flight was very, uh, was very fun. We were all grouped together in the group, so it's really interesting. I got to talk with a lot of people who were going to be uh, on, the, on the river with me um, on my trip. And people are going to be in the lake, um, on the lake behind me, as you can see. Um, and so right now I'm at um, MPC, which is the camp, but I'll get to that later. So we flew into O'Hare, Chicago. We had a three hour uh, layover. It was really bad. It was, uh, but they had, like, United had uh, tablets there that you could put games on and you can go shopping in the very overpriced um, airport. But O'Hare was huge. We were, we missed the train, so we actually had a walk to terminal from where uh, the flight from Houston arrived, and that was a very long walk. But it was not as easy to manage. And then once we got now we are going to go back up. Sorry for that short break. The camera fell down. It is really windy right now. And I was talking about O'Hare. It was uh, very hard to get to our flight. And when we actually did get the flight to Winnipeg, we're in the smallest plane I've ever been in. It was. It was all like, it had small wings, it had two engines in the back, and I was on the window, so I actually filmed some footage, you can see in my real video, not my vlog. Um, and it was, it was really small, it was really bumpy and turbulent, it was really windy, yeah. I mean like, it's, it's, it's really crazy. Just give you a, that's my hat. So, uh, we got to the flight on one bag and we arrived. And the Winnipeg airport, like a couple planes there, but we immediately got taxied in. And the landing was really rough. It was really bumpy and yeah. And then when I got through, I got through customs, that was that was interesting. Um, and I love in Canada how they have two languages. They always have English and French, which is very unique, and I can always see that. Um, and then you know, we take the two. What is it? Yeah, it was two and a half hours in a van with 12 other people to get here. And then when I got here, I noticed that my bag was banged up and I grease all over one side and like the outer plastic was chipped and that was not fun. That was me, you know, not being happy. And so once we got here, it was about 10 o'clock at night, Canada time. We had the same zone as Houston, uh, Houston so the time didn't change. And we got here, um, we immediately had food, which was nice. We actually had to be boated across this lake, as you see, to this. It took us 10 minutes to get here, and we were going really bad from that boat. And I thought we were going to tip over. This is at night. I also had some footage of that, so hopefully you see that. Um, and then we got here. We had dinner, like I said. A really good dinner. They make phenomenal food here. I don't know how they do it, but they make phenomenal food. Uh, truly. I think we had lamb. Or uh, lamb is delicious. We had delicious salad and for dessert we had brownies. Or more cake brownies, but yeah. And then we finally got to our cabin, which was cabin 12. And we had I think like 11 boys, men, whatever you want to call it, in one in one place. And there's only there's just enough for everyone, and it was really hot in there. I think they're insulated for the winter. Uh, even though we had all the screens open and everything, and I, I got a bottom bunk, but whoever slept above me was a really sound sleeper. I think it was Joseph, and he was really fine. The bunks are great. The place to stay sleeping may get a little toasty for a lot of people. And uh, then I got my sleeping bag. Don't even bother with the thermorest. It doesn't even help. Just, just sleep right on there. And I, I, I used my PFD for a pillow that I brought. I brought a PFD. Let's see how that goes. Tomorrow's vlog when I actually get on the river tomorrow. Now, um, so it took us a while to get to sleep. Yeah, well, it really did. We all conked out for the lights went out, and then someone got up and turned off the light. And then I woke up this morning thinking, oh, it looks like it's a beautiful day to go running. It was a beautiful day to go running. I did not get any footage of that. I went with Mr. Nielsen and we just went. It was fine. Um, and we really didn't know where to go. Also fun. So we ran around the island. It was about 
I got the tip remover from REI in my med kit. I got that out and I just went, Phew! And I followed the instructions and the tip came off even before it could draw blood and even trans even had a possibility to transmit Lyme's disease. And um, yeah, then I killed the tick. I know it's sad, but hey, I didn't want to invite someone else. Um, and I got that tick during running. Then I went right over to breakfast, which is at 8 30. These people let you sleep in so much. It is, they are so nice. They, they are really lax about sleeping. And then breakfast was phenomenal. I came in late, so I just had a taco with eggs. Um, and then I came back to my cabin. I built the chair, and we started doing fishing here. I practiced fishing. I didn't bring my own fishing pole. Probably should. I don't know why. We used something really big to look around, though. And then there's really great fish. Uh, we caught some really big ones. And we had a release because you were, this is a commercial. Like, it used this, um, this island, you technically can keep it, but you don't want to mess with the big commercial people over there. Uh, this is an island, what I'm standing on. It is an island. It's all surrounded by water, even though it doesn't look like it. It's really big. As you, I ran around the water thing, and it was very, very big. So, then I went to, already, I did, we went to church, Catholic church, and it was a new experience for me. It wasn't like Catholic, it was like, Baptist, it was something of the mix, but it's really Canadian. These are really good singers up here. I hands off, I'm like, whoa. They are really the hymns were done very well. Everything was done very well. Um, it took like an hour for the winter service. And they didn't do communion also, so I think that was like something new also. I've never seen before. So that was very inspiring. And then we went to Ori I went to orienteering for my canoeing trip on the river. We talked about like where we're going. We're traveling 90 kilometers, 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 okay, kilometers, okay, like for us. And we have to get, we can be bus four and a half hours to there. To the place where we start uh, with the canoes in tow, with all of our bags. It's going to be a joy ride. They, at least it's have about five people. And the situation is that we're going to have three canoes. And that there's gonna be two people in each, except for one of them is gonna have a third one that's gonna sit in the middle, is gonna take a nap, fish, do whatever. Um, there's seven people, that's why. Um, very interesting, I'm really excited for that. That's coming tomorrow, you can see tomorrow's vlog at the same time. I'll usually do that lunch break, which I'm on for right now. Uh, of course, I have to get down, I have to go change my swimsuit right now to do portaging. Uh, portaging. Uh, practice uh, for the trip is we'll have to portage, which means getting out of the water and carrying your canoe and all your stuff. It's like around the waterfall, really hard rapids. Um, it's really difficult. Oh, there's a bug underneath me hitting its skin. And it's something. And this is a really, really beautiful place so far. It smells great, it doesn't smell like pollution. Um, it is. Extremely beautiful here. Uh, Canada is beautiful, and this chair is amazing. Sorry, I chair, I love it. I don't know if there's anything else I can say. Oh, for lunch we had hamburgers, but it was like some different type of meat, and it was really good. Like I would even eat that if I was in America. When I'm in Canada, so we have to go to the club in Canada. And this hat, there's a lot of butts on the club. Hat. Yeah, that's basically all I have to say. It has been a very exciting trip. Very tired last 